Greetings, everyone. I am Northern Beard. And I am the Mightiest Beard. And we're bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. Beardlefield is a weekly series where Northern Beard and myself get together and have a delicious craft brew and try to tactically play some Battlefield 3 while we, uh, while we re review that beer for you. We're going to swap you over to in-game comms. Enjoy. Cheers, guys. Hello again, Will. Hello again, Steven. What beverage are we be reviewing today? Oh, well, today we are going to be taking a look at the Dogfish Head Chicory Stout. For those coffee lovers out there, people who like people who like caffeine and alcohol. Nice. Love did that. You clean, did you clean that guy up? I did, nope. and I picked you up. Yeah, nice bipod pro on your M16. In a, what are you using? <laughs> it might be an M4A1, I think, with a bipod. Yeah. What are you doing with a with a freaking silencer on here? Is there Get a silencer on that? Man. Yeah. I think that's how the game came with it. Yeah. Sure, it came with all the stuff you need to you need to get kills to unlock. Yeah, so the uh, right, push Dogfish up, push Head up. Chicory Stout is, of course, my choice of the week. It's my my, my turn to pick, and I, I picked the Stout naturally because I'm obsessed with them, apparently. Yeah. And uh, oof, right in the mouth on that guy. He's all kinds of not, not happy. I'm trying to keep him off of this, but it's not, uh, what is it? There we go. All right, we got it. We got him. Yep, yep. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna move we're going to double kill. Get up. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's a nice, nice beer. I'm excited to drink it. Um, it is a favorite of mine over from the, uh, the, the local watering hole, the Thirsty Moose, which is a place I, I frequent. Shout out to uh, anyone who tunes in from from that establishment. Just got shot in the back of the face by. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Boat. I'm sure we have a ton of viewers from oops, yeah, from we have, we Portsmouth, no New Hampshire, from this town, got, with the exception of me. I view our video eight times. Completely lit up. All right. Oh, revive me. I have zero freaking ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna lit up again. Actually, gonna fix my uh, my layout here. Oh man. So let me. Uh, we got this thing cracked open. Uh, we got a pretty good, I oh, I mean, I at least, I got a pretty good head on this thing. This thing pours pitch black, just like yeah. black coffee, just like you'd expect from the, uh, the chicory, uh, coffee. And, uh, it's got a little, but I got, I mean, I know you got a little different pour on this, but I got about two fingers of, like, a khaki kind of off-white eggshell head on this one. Uh, no light coming through this whatsoever. Like, yeah, absolutely not. It is, it is, it is dark. Maybe just like on the edges, you can get a little bit of browning, uh, but other than that, it is, it is real dark. It's exactly what you would, you would expect a coffee, a coffee forward beer to look like. Yeah, this thing is black as night, folks. I mean, this, this is, uh, this is about as dark as a, as a good stout gets. Um, Come on, really? Up to, only me they're shooting at. There we go. Yeah, got you all fixed up, Ooh, buddy. a little double action with an M4A1 server star medal. Nice. All right, pushing forward, pushing forward. Yeah, we're we're making a big advance on A. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the appearance. I mean, I I don't know. Will Will had a different a different um, head than me, but uh, it's it it definitely dissipates quickly for both of us. Uh, that I think that went away rel relatively quickly. Oh yeah, yeah. God, we are surrounded. Right, we need to we need to stop pushing so hard. We need to we need to clean up the outskirts of this uh, this thing a little bit before we start trying to yeah. ride up. We got guys coming from B side. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking pinned down. Oh, I just I just took an RPG to the. Come on, really? The thigh, it looked like. Yeah, we're gonna have to flank. We got enough guys pushing up that front. Let's go ahead and try to flank. Um, now the. Uh, for those who aren't aware, uh, I know oh that Will God. isn't a big, a big uh, drinker of coffee, but the uh, the chicory obviously is coffee. Um, so those who aren't aware, this is gonna be a very coffee centric uh, stout, and that's that's gonna take us into the aroma. Uh, let's take a nice, nice, nice sniff here. Let me pull this thing up here. Let's take my face in the shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a nice. You, 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 I I can. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. I can smell the darkness in this beer. Like it's. <laughs> I swear. Darkness um, coming. Get out of here. 
Oh, bull fucking shit. It's a horrible round. Yeah, I get a little bit of, uh, like, 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 dark, kind of like dark chocolate on the back end of that, that's the uh, aroma, aroma there. there. Like really, really coffee forward, so that's, yeah. that's what you're going to be smelling primarily, unless you're really digging for other, other smells in there. Yeah. But for the most part, if you, if you don't get coffee out of this, your nose is broken. Fact. And you, you are actually, those who have a, a, a the opposite of a broken Fact. nose, which is like a strong honker that just picks up anything. Um, you are going to pick up a little, little, little hint of the licorice that they put in there. Um, and an emphasis on the little folks. This is not a strong licorice scent. I mean, this is this is very subtle, um, but it's definitely doing, there. Oh, yeah. It's definitely there. But being a person who doesn't like licorice at all, like black licorice. I like maybe I'm trying not to smell it. Yeah, let me just spawn all the way back at the deployment, 186 meters away. Rough. Seems seems good. I don't know where the hell the rest of the team is, but whoa. I'm on you. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna try to push up. Let's try let's try, try to push left side again. Uh, yeah. pushing that right side wasn't working at all. Yeah. We better haul ass on some kind of movement here. We got yeah, we got kids. I got yeah, just completely lit up. We got no one doing anything on our team. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip right here. Oh, I got yep. revived, but I'm gonna take a sip anyway. Moving on to the taste. Yeah, yep. I can just get shot again on the I'm on the ground behind a rock. I don't know where that guy's shooting me from. Oh, how the fuck did that guy see me at all? What the fuck ever? Yeah, I'm scooting uh, across the field here, trying to. Yeah, this is uh, even even bigger coffee flavor in the taste than in the nose. It's just this is a this is a coffee beer. There's no there's no getting around it. This thing is made for people who like who like coffee in their beer. Um, you get right. a, you get the dark Jeez. you get the dark chocolate. Got right there, the rock the crawler over there is yeah, just running around. Fucking this guy is I don't understand how this team is doing is as everywhere as they are. Yeah. Well, they have they have a level one hundred in their team, so yeah, I see. He's the one who keeps killing me. Yeah. And our team yeah, is doing bucket. doing awful. A what? A ship. That's it. Yeah. Um. Yes, and and as you pointed out earlier, I think before we before we did the review, um, you know, there there are coffee beans all over this label here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the hell is happening right now? Wow, that that kid is just all kinds of neo over there. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's bean coffee beans all up on that label, you know, and it, it, it's gonna, it's it's gonna be a nice, a rich, dark chicory, you know, which is a coffee flavored stout. Um, and I just I just can't get enough of this beer. Uh, I tried it probably a month ago, I'd say, I'd say about a month ago. Yeah. Um, over at uh, at the Moose, and I just. Just fell in love with it. Sorry, I'm f I'm trying to focus on actually shooting people here, which no one on the other on no one on our team it seems to be doing. Yeah, we're we're getting yeah. locked down right here. We're gonna go to we're gonna be switching sides. I mean, we we pretty much covered taste. It's coffee flavored stout, you know. Yeah, this is a, um, this, it's a wicked wicked coffee forward stout. There's a little smokiness to it, some like woody flavor. Yeah. It's it's, but you know, for the most part, it's. It's coffee. It's just like the scent. Like if if you don't taste coffee, your mouth is busted. Your your taste buds are not doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, get get accurate. dunked. Get your med kit. All right. Okay. I see. I don't understand. I, like. I feel like there's 20 more people on that team because our there's no one on our team doing anything. Right. No, no, prone, you fool. All right, so we're going to move on to the mouthfeel on this yep. one, which for yeah. me is really uh, light comparatively. Um, when you when you hold it up against, like, the Victory Storm King or really any other bigger... Oh, God. 
terrible. Really, any kind, of, any other kind of stout. Any, I mean, any other bigger stout, it's gonna be really full. Oh, really, okay. So really I'm crouching, and he hits my head, but he's standing, and I shoot him in the head with a, with a magnum, and he's he's fine. I got it. Now. Yeah. No, okay. He's, this, this I, I understand this game now. Yeah. The 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 mouthfeel on this. I mean, it, unlike some stouts. It, Actually, I shouldn't. I should take that back. Unlike some beers, because it's it's not even just stouts; it's probably more prevalent in ales. Um, you'll get that really kind of oddball aftertaste. You're kind of like, eh, I could probably use maybe a mint or a quick shot of scope. Um, this doesn't really have that. I don't. I don't feel. No, this is a. It's a, It's it's really. It's light and. I'll go as far to say that like I'm not a I'm not a big Guinness fan and I know that's gonna that's gonna make some some of those Guinness hardcore Guinness folks mad you know they be mad, <laughs> uh, but I'm not a big Guinness fan. To me, it's just a little it's almost like watery. It's like feels feels thin in my mouth like it's filling because it's a stout, but it, it yeah just it's filling feels already. Thin it's like some a loaf of bread yeah, dipped in water. Yeah, but I mean it's it's not it's not the same as like drinking. There's there's other there's other beers that just just feel thicker than that that aren't even stouts. Okay. Uh, that was my bad. Um, but to me, like this is kind of like what I feel like Guinness should be because Guinness is kind of that quintessential stout. Everyone everyone's had a Guinness. Everyone knows what Guinness tastes like or and feels like. But to me, this is this is what it should feel like in your mouth. It's it's not thick. Like the victory, or or really a lot of other stouts, it's it, but it's not thin. It like it has substance. It feels well blended in your mouth. It doesn't just feel like beer ingredients dumped into water, you know. Right. Yep. No, absolutely. I mean, this this has what I would call a um, a pretty clean finish. Yeah, definitely definitely a clean finishing kind of beer. You want to cover me so I can reload? Uh, just if, if I, I would, would if, if I, I didn't just go down to somehow a guy that has 48% still and is using a 6x scope on his M16A3, which is oh, really taking the really risk rough. of reloading here. Go for it. Hey, look at that. I, I think everything went better than I expected. That was nice. Yeah, yeah you know, it's and it, 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 there are some coffee that you'll 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 take a nice swig of. Like for me in the morning, I usually start my day off with a nice uh, Sumatran Reserve, which is a very bold beer. And a bold beer will leave that kind of motor oil taste in your mouth. Now, personally, I I love that in a coffee. But in some beers, I don't particularly care for it. This chicory right. stout aces, just absolutely aces the, the stout portion of, of that finish, that nice, smooth, clean finish. You know, it doesn't leave that Captain Crunch film in your mouth. And it doesn't leave that motor oil mouth, uh, mouth feel that a coffee will. So it's like you know it's a win-win. That's creating a win-win situation right there from, from in terms of in terms of a stout. You know, I, I don't right. I don't think that they could have nailed that any better. So I mean that's that's my opinion on the mouthfeel. Like you said, you know it's there's no punch. This is a low alcohol you know level beer. What five percent? Five point five point five point two, which is surprising from from Doctor Ted, who's known for making really big like alcohol heavy beers. Not necessarily boozy because that, that to me that means that you're getting a lot of booze flavor, which they're really good at masking it, but their their beers are sometimes kind of boozy. You know, they like the the ninety uh, ninety minute IPA is like an eight percent, so that's a little, it's a little bit more uh, alcohol content than your average, you know, uh, you know your average IPA, your average you know Dunkel Bison, you know. Right. It's but you know an eight percent is is eight percent is big. Oh, get screwed, bro. Oh come on. Really? An M9 versus an AEK? I, I lose? I recorded that streak I just had. Holy crap. Ugh. Yeah, this isn't a very good game. That but yeah, game it's just... Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great beer. It's a great beer. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's wrap this up. Let's bring it over to the overall, Will. I mean, how are you, uh, how are you really feeling about this beer? I'm a strong. I'm a strong four on this one. Strong four. Strong, solid strong, four point strong, oh. strong wizard beard. Nice. Maybe like a four. Maybe like a four point two, but you know. <laughs> but a four. A four is. Four is very strong. Is definitely. Uh, definitely full wizard beard. Uh, it's something that 
I would definitely suggest people go out and try to buy. Absolutely, yeah. Um, on, on that note, I mean, I'm going to... I know that we're new. I know this series is new to YouTube and, and just in general. Um, I don't want to toss it out too, too quick here. But I, I got to tell you, I mean, this I loved the Victory Storm King Stout as a general stout. Uh, but this brings the best of both worlds for me, coffee and beer. Uh, and I'm going to give this a... Um, a solid uh, five. This is going to get the coveted Viking Blood Mud Beard. Yeah, I knew. I knew as soon as you picked a dogfish head stout that you were going <laughs> to give it a five. That that, that wasn't going to get the first five. I knew. I just. I knew. I'm. I was. I'm surprised that the victory didn't get a five from you. It got a strong like, four, man. I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great beer. It's a really good beer, especially if you're a stout lover. I mean, if you're a stout lover, that's that's a tops, but. This one's really good if you want the, uh, if you really want that coffee. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, if you like that coffee flavor, this is, this is for me one of the best that you can. Have. I just had a, uh, I had a rogue mocha porter the other night, yep. which I thought was excellent. Just really great, uh, smooth, light, coffee forward beer. Um, and this is this is you know along those same lines. It's just something that if you if you like a beer and you like a coffee, this is this is your brew. Absolutely. Really? Well, there you go, guys. I mean, that's this is gonna get an average of a four and a half from us, which I think even bests the uh, uh, the previous you know top rated beer that we had. I forget I forget which one probably held that. Um, yeah, I don't know what the top rated one is. Out of out of the four that we've done, including this one, who yeah. knows? Yeah. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. Make sure you give us a rating if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for uh, for more because we're going to be doing these weekly. And make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any beers for us to tr uh, to check out. Or if you even had this beer, let us know what you thought and see if, yeah. if uh, you agree with us or disagree. If you had this beer and you, you enjoyed it, we'd, I'd, love, I'd love to know about it. I mean, I'd love this beer. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that, that's going to do it. So we really appreciate you tuning in. And again, um, please try to, you know, like, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Awful. Yeah, guys. See you later.